and say and say all these positive things but if deep down you believe i'm not worthy of this thing because you have not dealt with the core beliefs so there are beliefs and then there are core beliefs i'm very lucky and lo muntu noma ngadaba kanjani uzozo kuzo ngeni phone call aphume kusale iqhuma isibhaba because yena he has told himself with me nangene tlanje nothing is bad is going to happen to me and similarly umuntu uhambe na isibanje ukuthi wena uphumela kanjani dami nangophumela benzeke at the depth of their soul they believe ukuthi nothing bad is going to happen to them so that is why god says would you hold on to the truth of what the scripture says instead of believing what the world is teaching us okay uh, these are some of the things i'm just going to read roughly some of the things that i've highlighted uh, because they made some sense to me one way or another uh, okay when we okay uh, some some of the things may not make sense if we are funding the background guys when we employ the language of the fantastic in our lives thinking and acting in myth, in mythic ways we align ourselves with the archetypal forces of the universe and untold possibilities open up for us have you ever read something and you uh, begin begin to accept this this is the truth yeah. and you begin to see it all of a sudden it's like yeah. oh, yeah. this thing works most yeah. you know because you were not aware of it so in life you will always move towards your consciousness which is why for me ufunding what is important because it opens up your possibilities and then you begin to see with i am not in my mauritius nga lo ke nithi hey kona lento le esakhula thina siyenza masibona into endle sithi into zani lu as a result we ended up not having nice things and even if we are given something we feel like we don't deserve it if god gives you something and you don't believe you deserve it you are going to lose it <laughs> okay page 48 Uti, this journey of becoming a complete human being is a metamorphosis of transformative of as transformative as the caterpillar becoming the butterfly not only will we become complete by integrating all parts of ourselves we will become unrecognizable through this process we will awaken ourselves and discover who we are in the universe The term awakened means shifting our normal consciousness into something far greater. Different traditions use different names for this remarkable transition. This is what I was talking about when we talk about the terminology. In Christian terminology, it is called being born again in the spirit. Mm-hmm. Buddhists call it enlightenment. Evolutionists call it cosmic consciousness and as and we as quantum warriors we call it awakening. I love what you said when you say I'm beginning to awaken to myself. It means there is a lot about you that you are but that you are not aware of. But the more you read books you begin to uh, uh, get to be uh, aware of yourself. Somebody talked about the forgiveness so which uh, you you talked about which you know what I had an uh, uh, attention you talked about which I had these challenges with my father but when I began to read books yeah. they began to tell me I began to see which, how other people are going through this and they're forgiven. So also I can go through uh, uh, challenges and actually forgive. So when pro was <laughs> uh, and also there's the there's something that happens when you begin to think about something over and over it creates a neural pathways in your mind so that eventually it would when I call it's not the way I call but it's the thoughts that you've been thinking that lead you to begin uh, uh, to believe what that's how you are. Uh, and then he talks about our beliefs well uh, uh, there's something said by napoleon hill he said whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe the mind of man can achieve so it's about beginning to be aware and to expand umqondo wakho about what is really happening in the world and about the possibilities in the world and the moment you begin to say i am not going to enter that your your mind accepts it as a belief and it begin and, and also it begins to be a challenge to to your subconscious mind to start looking for solution of how you can actually do that mm-hmm. uh, there is something called taking in inventory as well uh, taking in inventory of your beliefs like i was saying earlier on which sometimes you think could away in a corner no it's not the way we are called 
every thought and belief that you have, you have accepted it as true. You can change that belief. And when you change that belief, you are going to change the outcomes of that belief. Omunyumut, like I was saying earlier on, Omunyumut believes they are not worthy of success. Like you said, Tina, because somebody stole your ruler when you're doing a great fall, in your mind you're thinking, and I was why. It's because the source of it is there. And when it happened, to believe to uh, somebody may have said to you, it begins to be a part of your of your consciousness. Uh, in conclusion. <laughs> okay, so there are four found uh, basic foundations in, in, in quantum physics about uh, 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 or if you want to be a quantum warrior as he he says. He says the consciousness that created the universe dwells within us. What does that say biblically? God. In him we live, we move, and we have our being. And it also says greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So he says the consciousness that created the universe dwells within us. Our mind is a tiny holographic piece of the consciousness that pervades the universe. While our mind is mostly preoccupied with its own little sphere of self, and my little family. So while you are thinking about yourself, it is nonetheless part of the great cosmic mind with access to everything contained within that cosmos. While controversial, this is not an unreasonable concept as it is supported by the facts that quantum theory reveals. We take on this belief because we have the ability to do so through choice. This belief is further backed by the vision revealed to us by the great mystics of our race and is now reviewing ourselves differently, uh, we accept their truth as ours. It is also not lost on us uh, the advantage that having such a belief will have in our life. Think about it. If the consciousness that created a, a universe is in us, what can it do in our life? What problems or challenges are too great for us now that we know this consciousness is in us? With this belief, suddenly everything becomes possible for us. So you know some of these things, we say them as well, greater is he that lives in us than he that dwells in the world. And, and we say, you know, but we don't think about the ramifications of these laws when we apply them in our lives. I think, for me, I usually say, one of the most powerful scriptures in the Bible, or one of the most challenging scriptures for us, if I believe, is the scripture that says, the spirit that raised Jesus Christ dwells in you. No! Yes. Can, can, can you imagine what is the power that has raised Christ? It dwells in me. Do you think in mathematics, in economics? And we are going to say that we are going to say that we are going to say that we Because it is that spirit that is in you that tells you that I am. Hey, listen. The Bible says in, in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, in the beginning, the earth was formless. It was dark. It was shapeless and formless. And the spirit hovered above the waters. So, but, but the Bible says, when God said, the spirit moved. Yeah. And it created what God had in mind. Mm. And this is the same spirit that dwells in you. This is the sp same spirit in whom we live, we move, and we have our being. Mm. And number two, he says, we exist in the energy web, and we are one with it. I think we've covered that. Okay, simple to one and bad. <laughs> Number three, he says consciousness weaves and directs energy. I love this one because for me it says when you begin to be conscious about the fact that you can succeed in something, you move towards that. You will never accomplish something that you, do, you didn't, didn't even think about. So the first layer of achieving accomplishment in life is thinking about something. See yourself as Lendo Furupayiyo. I am worthy of success. One day I can own it. Actually, Anthony Robbins own an island. I can own an island. The project is an island. Because other people have done it. 
So you move towards that consciousness and it is the law that God has created. He says, the web exists in a perpetual state of unlimited potential awaiting consciousness to act upon it. Gamayamas, we live in a sea of infinite possibilities. And until we see those possibilities, we cannot accomplish those possibilities. So when we begin, when we read books like we do, when we uh, 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 seek knowledge, I usually say to Abandon Abba, pray for five things. Nasas or seven. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding, insight, and discernment. Now I've said, could he add the spirit of boldness? So that when you have the wisdom of these five things, you will be bold to, to stand and declare. And number seven, which is for me, one of the most important laws that we need to obey is uh, the, the, the spirit of? The spirit of the fear of the Lord. For me, that is one of the most important uh, uh, habits uh, that we need to encompass. To have the spirit of the fear of the Lord. When you have that spirit of the fear of the Lord. It's like, And when you have that spirit of the fear of the Lord, you will delete that message. And when you want to say something wrong to someone, but doesn't so And the spirit of the Lord said, hey, I mean, I went yeah. and, you're like, yeah. and you know what your friends are saying, ah, we are. We are. <laughs> but when you know the greater one that is in you is saying with hey, I mean, I went As a result, will be in line because now you understand what in this web of energy. You and I have the power to impact this web, and then you'll have an advantage. Up, oh, guys, I'm, I'm sure, man, give me sure, would he, as you read books, Kunabandu who just put you on a pedestal, would tell me, Mom, come over, but yeah, 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 Zanutin, Zanutin, yeah, you know, because Kuna Lendole, Abai Bona, when there is that light, because now when you speak, now you speak from your consciousness, and you are impacting the people around you, like you said, we are here to impact people. You can't impact people positively unless you yourself are positive. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Some people are going to be an office access. Yes. Oh, for those who are in the other time, I use the example. I said, was this lady who was in the interview. So, you have to go to the show. I don't think I can make it. I said, it's really. I said, it's a ham. Do you know who you know um, casting directors? Thank you. Yeah, I'm telling you. Because they have auditioned so many people, they know by the minute you walk in there. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they just say, okay, okay. There's something in the Wednesday game, Shabin. People just put away things and they want to listen to you. Yeah. Because of your demeanor, how you walk, how you carry yourself. <laughs> Let me tell you a story of what happened. Uh, this guy who said how his first encounter with the Tupac was. They were looking for my rappers, you know. And then Tupac came, Sebezo Peta. Wafi with Tupac and Kennedy is a good look at the energy. But yo, 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 what's up here? Yeah, yeah, my name is Tupac Shakur. Wait, 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 can I start? Can I start? And, and everybody was irritated because one, this guy was late, and two, we are Papa. But something about his energy told them, Uti, we are size is too sack. So Uti, he just got, in, got to a mic and said, like, Can I start? Can I start, yo? They're like, Ish. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kala, eh, yeah. <laughs> what, kala. Why? He knew, Uti, one, I trust my talent. I've invested in my talent, and number two, this is an opportunity to show myself. Which I know why I'm here. So, yeah, so that's me. Uh, can we give our chance to Mamatakala? <laughs> 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 